Welcome aboard this standard type Airbus 321 within Flight Simulator X. Uh, we're currently circling the Bravo November November VOR just outside Heathrow Airport. That's Echo Golf Lima Lima. And we are in the process of beginning our descent into Echo Golf Lima Lima 27 left. So I'm going to talk you through the GPS and the ILS approaches in this particular aircraft and just so you get an idea of how to use the GPS system. I'm flying a shared aircraft this morning so we've got a fantastic gentleman called Wheelis as my first officer. He will be controlling the aircraft for me so what I can talk you through absolutely everything. So at the moment on screen as you can see we've got the Bravo November November VOR as the waypoint within the GPS which was selected when we took off from uh, Heathrow originally and now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the whole system of selecting a different destination without altering the current flight plan. So to do that we'll just hit the outside button here and then we'll push the inside button here. Now, as you can see, I've already changed this so that uh, I can show you some of the screens, but if you just hit the middle push cursor button, which is cursor on and off here, and then that will illuminate this section here. From there, you need to push the small arrow to the right or the left, and that will highlight one particular letter. Now, from there, we can put in any destination we like anywhere in the world. So, for example, we'll be putting in Echo Golf Lima Lima, typing that in on the keyboard. And then that brings up all the information, and it also tells us we have an ILS approach. Now, to activate this, we need to hit Enter. Then that will select the whole thing. And then from there, we need to hit Enter again. And then that will allow us to look at several different bits of information we can scroll along using these small arrow keys and we have runways 9 right and 27 left which is what we'll be using this morning if we push along with the plus arrow again just there on the right hand side we can access the radio frequencies page now from here if we push the push cursor button again it will select this area just here and then again we take, use the bigger outer arrow and that will allow us to scroll down the page so what we need to do now if we just grab shift and two that will then bring up our radios if we then go into nav one which is just here and then we can put in the ILS frequency for 27 left which is 109.50 so we can tune that in on here as 109.50 which Colin will do for us now so as you can see here in nav 2 we've got the standby 109.50 and that's in the standby section ready to be switched if we do have a problem and in nav 1 we've already made the active as 109.500 now when we're within airport range we can watch the call button in nav 1 so that's the call button in nav 1 and what that will do is it will give us the morse code for the airport well for the ILS frequency which you will be able to hear so that's push and hold CLR and that will clear us back to the main screen so we can see exactly what's going on. As you can see to the right hand side of us now we've got um, Echo Golf Lima Lima Heathrow Airport. So we'll start prepping the GPS so that we can make our move into the uh, vectors for uh, landing on runway 27 left. So we're going to hit procedures and we're going to go into this which is the procedures display page otherwise abbreviated as PROC. When I go into here, it's going to ask us to select an approach. We've got three selections here, but only one of them is actually accessible, which is select an approach. So we'll push enter, and that'll leave us with the Bravo November November, which is currently where we're circling. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to push the push cursor button until the text at the top there is selected by the GPS system. So it's about three clicks. And then we push the little right-hand button here, the top circle, and that'll allow us to type in Echo Golf Lima Lima. Okay, we're now happy with that. We'll push enter. So we're going to move down there and we're just going to change that using the outside wheel. Now we're not planning on landing on runway 09 left. We're going 427 left. So we're going to select that moving with the outside arrow key here and then we're going to push enter. Now we're currently circling the Bravo November November. So we're going to go down the screen and select the Bravo November November. And now this will give us an opportunity to either load or activate. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load this sequence so that we can A, have a good look at what's going on. So we can push the cursor again and we can just use the outside arrow there to put 
move all the way down just so we can have a good look at where everything's going telling us all the good information that we need exactly where we need to be for each particular section and exactly where we need to be at any given time so we're just going to push the CLR button and we're going to just have a quick look at where we are in relation to the airport now and you can see the white button here which is the Bravo November November this is the vectors that we'll be taking to go to Echo Golf Lima Lima. As you can see, that's our entire course, as you can see there. And that will land us on runway 27 left. Now, if for some reason we have to do a go around, then the GPS will take over automatically and will take us and vector us out to Echo Papa Mike. So what we're going to do now is we're going to activate the vectors. So we'll go into procedures and we'll activate our approach. We've already got uh, select approach already completed, so we're going to go into enter. And what that will now do is it's selected the next part of the journey for us, which is the Bravo November November to Delta 137 Sierra, which is this large stretch just here that you can see in front of us. Okay, welcome to the uh, virtual cockpit part of Flight Simulator in this Airbus Type 321 default aircraft. Some very, very important things that you need to remember when we're going to be doing our ILS approach into uh, runway 27 left at Heathrow are that... When we activate the ILS, we need to have a couple of things active. We firstly need to make sure the flight director is active. That will be need, that will need to happen anyway when you're using your autopilot, which we currently are. And then under the ILS, you need to just select that. Now, as you can see on the screen here, nothing's happening. But as you can see, we've got this lovely selection of uh, dots here. Those people who are familiar with um, ILS will uh, understand that. But uh, it basically tells you whether you're to the left, the right, further up or further within your entry to uh, the airfield. Now, very, very important button. At the moment, we're running GPS because we're running from the, obviously, from the GPS system. Now, the nav button will switch from the GPS, so it'll make that redundant, that system, and will run via the radio system which will allow us to uh, coordinate a ILS approach into Heathrow Airport runway 27. So uh, I'll talk you through that one a little bit more when we begin our approach into Heathrow Airport. We slowed the aircraft right down so we're now doing 165 knots that's 165 and uh, we brought the plane or we're bringing the aircraft down to 1200 feet but a very very steady at a rate of 600 feet per minute descent so at the moment you can see we're only at 1900 just uh, and we're still holding steady at 165 so the airplane now is just about to start making its turn as you can see it's just beginning to make its turn through the gps and uh, we've just engaged the flaps just to bring the plane down nice and steady so, Mr. Wheelis is, uh, is busy just um, securing the aircraft, making sure that we uh, keep as close as we can to that line as possible. Um, as we reach the other end, we are needing to do something quite important, which is to switch our nav on instead of our GPS. Because of the nature of uh, how we're coming into the glide slope in this particular pattern, uh, we need to uh, allow the plane plenty of time to... Um, moving to its finals. We're also deciding to bring the plane down to 1,200 uh, now uh, in relation to the fact that we'll be um, reasonably far into the glide slope by the time we uh, by the time we come into our final approach. So uh, we'll see you again when we're about to uh, switch into nav and um, on our finals. Okay so the uh, cockpit's going to become a little bit busier now because uh, we're starting to concentrate on our final descent uh, into uh, Heathrow Airport 27 left. As you can see, we have uh, 27 left written down here, so the plane is exactly where it's going. And in around about um, 45 seconds, we're going to start enabling the nav side of the system. So uh, we're just in the process of uh, prepping the aeroplane now. Our wheels are down and our taxi lights are on. So I'll just give you a, a quick tour of that one. So you can see we're all very, very prepped, nice and easy. Okay, so uh, we've just taken the nav switch off, which is this lovely little red thing here, which I talked about earlier. So we've gone from GPS to nav, and then uh, obviously the ILS switch is engaged as well, so we can see the ILS. Now what's happening here is the aircraft is actually uh, putting itself onto the ILS course. Uh, we've also hit the approach button here, the APR button, the approach hold switch, and taken the lock switch off the GPS. Now that's very, very important. You must remove the lock switch from the GPS and put it to the approach switch. Now in a moment, we're gonna remove the um, auto throttle so we can manually control the aircraft. Wheelis is uh, going to look after the uh, speed and the final approach for the aircraft into the ILS. And I'm just gonna show you from the outside 
exactly what we should be looking at. Now, the aircraft, as you can see, is coming down quite happily into the ILS. And then in a moment, what's going to happen is uh, Wheelis, my first officer, is going to activate the speed brake on touchdown. Now, here you can see the flare, the automatic flare for the aircraft. Okay, we're going to take the autopilot off. Going to um, just slow the aircraft down, F2 here. Just making sure that they've got full reverse thrust. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Echo Golf Lima Lima Heathrow Airport. Just showing you how to uh, use your GPS and your ILS um, entrance, okay? The only thing you need to remember is uh, keeping your speed down. You also need to make sure that your height is reasonable. And the main importance is that you should intercept the glide slope while underneath it. So don't try and fly onto the glide slope, fly into it. And there you'll be able to in take the glide slope all the way down and landing your aircraft automatically. And also remember to remove that lock switch um, from the GPS system and ensure that the approach hold switch is activated. Anyway, we hope it's been helpful, but thanks very much for joining us and uh, maybe we'll see you again if you all enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye.